Hi everyone, welcome back to another video of ENS Academy. So friends, in this video, I am trying to do something different. I will explain all my topics via PPT presentation. So over here friends, uh, this particular uh, map, it shows us the water scarcity. Scarcity means shortage. This map shows us the water short. So friends, over here in this areas okay in this areas of africa there is water shortage this area of the south america and the area of uh, india and the other areas it is having a water shortage water is readily available and it is very much important okay in all aspects but how can we overcome this water shortage problem okay the you know it is have earth is having a 70 percent of the water all over but it is not a drinkable water. We can purify it, but the result is not up to 100%. So over here, in order to, to overcome that particular problem, okay, Mr. Arturo Vittori, he is an uh, Italian architect. He came up with a solution. He has developed this particular model and this particular model can produce the water that is up to 100 liters of the water per day from atmospheric air so it is a you know an invention that can extract water from air it is a self water producing device which is very very much simpler in construction friends as you can see over here it is made up of the tiny tiny bamboo okay and uh, it is having this nylon meshings and through this particular nylon meshings all over the you know different different water droplets get formed and all of these water droplets will flow at this location and you know it is get water gets collected at the bottom side of this tower this particular invention it is known as the Varka Tower that is developed by this uh, architect known as Arturo Vittori and basically it will produce the clean and the drinkable water. So let's uh, understand the construction of this particular tower. So it is over here, it is a very simpler in construction. Height is up to 9.5 meters and uh, you know it is having the over here the, these are nothing but the uh, strings which are there for the reinforcement purpose so and all the over here these are all the bamboo meshings okay which are there in this particular tower so what happens over here okay the airflow the air particles okay they gets entrapped in this meshings okay the air is having a certain pressure okay and a temperature now when this air particle moves from this side okay it gets entrapped over here and at this particular point this condensation occurs which is known as the dew condensation and just because of this dew condensation the water droplet gets formed and then this water droplet will go come over here and it will get settled down over here so over here in this particular jar the water gets collected so here this uh, Varka tower is capable of producing the 100 liters of water per day which is very much sufficient I think for 10 to 12 people and suppose if we uh, like uh, you know construct this type of the towers across a village okay the problem of water will be easily solved and the materials which are used over here these are nothing but the bamboo polyester mesh polyester cable and the hemp roof these are you know all the materials which are readily available in the rural areas as well basically friends this particular tower is nothing but the cost effective solution which is developed by mr james arthur again thanks to this particular man so he has you know designed this various different different models of this varka tower and he has finally solved the problem of the water crisis in the remote areas of the Africa. So this particular Varka Tower. So over here friends, uh, you know, I have an idea in my mind. Have you ever seen the water droplets getting formed in the morning on a, on a leaf? So this is nothing but the condensated water droplets gets formed 
in the early morning on the leaf. So this same principle of dew condensation, it is used in this Varka tower to extract the water from atmospheric air. So friends, tell me in the comments what you think about this particular Varka tower. So this is Narendra Gupta signing off.